What's up, everybody? Sean and Mike on Mike's roof. <laughs> it is uh, Friday, July 3rd, and we have a brand new shirt for Ambrosia, and we wanted to explain why we made this particular shirt. First, let me read it. Yeah. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to everyone, including black lives, because black lives matter. So look, this is the, the preamble, the beginning of the constitution of this country. And it's very important to note that we have changed the end uh, and it's left open-ended after that because this shirt means something to us <clears throat> and it means something to our company. And so we, we didn't wanna just put out a 4th of July shirt uh, nor do we just want to put out a shirt that we we didn't believe in. We believe in this country. We want this country to be great. This is where we live. This is our home. Uh, but we recognize that there's improvements we need to make. There's mm -hmm. systems we need to turn upside down and some systems we need to get rid of and rebuild. But we're here for that. Yeah. Uh, you know, my experience in this country, I mean, my my whole life I've been here. Sometimes it feels like we're the unwanted stepchild. But... You know, I reject that, you know, I believe in those words. I really feel them. the Constitution. Say what you may about the times, but it was a, it's a, a brilliant piece of paper. The words that's on it and the meaning behind it. However, at the time that it was written, you know, people that look like me were not. It didn't address us. OK, because we weren't we were considered cattle or property. But the times have changed. Um, People recognized that that wasn't OK and evolved. Some people pushed back, but what's right prevails. And some of that still lingers and we just want to see it eradicated. Everybody in this country that's here should feel welcomed and be proud of this country. I want to be proud of this country, you know, but I do want certain systems, like Sean said, certain systems need to be tweaked. Things need to be adjusted because there's uh, an imbalance of justice sometimes. And a lot of people may not understand or feel it because it doesn't directly affect them negatively. But for those who it affects negatively, it really, really sucks. It really hurts. And is it really hurts when people say, oh, that's not the case. It's no problems because it is, you know, we're not. People don't want to complain for no reason. And yeah, there are people in this country that are victims. People take the term victim mentality and make it a thing to make you embarrassed to be a victim. But you don't have to be embarrassed to be a victim. You don't have to succumb to being a victim. We can learn from it, but certain things are and certain people are victims and we don't want that to be the case. All right. So like Sean said, we really believe in this. We believe in the constitution and we do believe in black lives matter um there's an organization called black lives matter um people may say what they want but we did our research on it on the company requested financials the whole nine and they're, they're pretty straight up uh but that's not what we're representing that particular company we're representing what those words actually mean black lives matter all lives matter 100 percent. but <laughs> right now we're just getting a lot of heat black lives every time someone is a black person is killed by an authority and there's no justice done it really sucks don't feel good it feel like your brother or that could be you or a family member and that's not okay um we just want what's right that's it we want everything to be fair we want everyone to recognize that at the end of the day we the people is very relevant to be the biggest statement on the shirt because it's in our hands to treat each other like brothers and sisters and stand together and listen to what each each other has to say and learn how to correct imbalances that exist whether or not you contributed to them or your parents contributed them i i was born here but my parents both immigrated i had nothing to do with any of this but it doesn't matter what matters is that i have i have black best friends i have a black partner and i recognize that shit is not right but 
we have to work together to make it right. And just, just, I want to put it out there that um, I, I participated in protests. Um, and one thing that really hit me the last day I, I went out, I really was paying attention and just soaking up the vibe and looking at everybody that was out there that was so passionate. And the fact that there was black, white, Hispanic, Asian, it hit me right here because sometimes you feel like you in a fight by yourself, but, or just only your people that look like you. But when I see people standing up for what's right, it's not, it's bigger than black and white and brown and red. It's about right and wrong and what's right is right. And anybody going through whatever, any kind of injustice, oppression, you name it, I'll, I'll walk with you too. I stand shoulder to shoulder with whomever is being done unjustly because right is right. And I'm always, always going to do whatever I can to stand on the side of what's right and not what's wrong. And I'll, I'll fight what's wrong to the death. And that's, that's something that's easy to say, but hard to do. But I happen to have seen you do it in the time where a lot of anti-Muslim sentiment was being espoused by Trump and, and other people. Uh, I'm not Muslim, but I have a background where many people are Muslim and members of my family mm -hmm. uh, were Muslim and are Muslim. So, uh, you know, for, for to see you come forward when that time was there mm -hmm. and actually put, you know, content forward that said this, this shit is not right. Uh, not all of us agree with this and et cetera. It proves a point that we're, we're standing with anyone who's being oppressed or, or you know, dealing with injustice, certainly within our own country. 100 percent, man. We look, I'm a loving dude. I don't have a racist or bigot bone in my body. I would never group classify a bunch of people based on a few people. I would never do that. OK, I love everybody. I love good people most of all. So that's what I stand for. Um, Sean's my bro. I love you to death. I love my boy, my brother, Mark Lobliner. We are so diverse. We have a Jewish dude, a Middle Eastern dude, and a black dude, but we brothers, you know what I'm saying? We might fight, we might argue, but that's what you do when you brothers. You know what I mean? We look at each other as equals so we can criticize each other to level each other up. That's all it is, you know? So anyway, we made this shirt um, for you guys. We believe in it. We want to give it to you guys. What's the deal? All orders over a hundred bucks is going to be coming with it for free. It's also available for purchase, but the amount of orders that we get that are over a hundred, just naturally, yeah, we just want to get it. Shirts. We want to get it in our customers' hands. That's the long story short. And it, it Actually, at that rate, let's, yeah, let's not allow it to be purchased. Yeah. You okay. Just, it's, we want to give it for free. Yeah, it's for free. It's, we want to give it for free with orders over 100 bucks. Yeah, and it's for our customers because we know a lot of you guys feel the same way. We know you look to us for our opinion on things and, and want uh, our insight. And our insight is that this is something you can wear and be proud of and know that like you're you you are trying to be a person who wants change, who wants to be a part of that change and you can wear it on your chest. And for you, for someone to wear this and not be black that's a big person. That's a brave person. That's a bold person. When I, the video that Sean's talking about, uh, about the Muslim ban, whatever. And, and guys, this is not, I'm not trying to start a big war in the comments. Okay. Things were said it is recorded and it wasn't okay. We don't agree with that. That's, that's, that, that was my message, but I got so much hate and so much flack and lost so many followers. And I was happy about it. Good. I will do it again. So for someone to wear this, that this does not represent their skin, you're a big person. And I'm, I, I admire you. I admire people like that. Strong people, bold, bold people standing up for people who need who's in need. Yeah. All right, guys, that's what we have for you. Uh, the shirt's already live at the time that you see this video, but hopefully you get one. All right. We're out of here.